actions, they speak louder than words. And what you're doing is quite literally the opposite of what you were saying. Greg Doucette is one of the biggest players in the fitness industry with 1.63 million subscribers on YouTube, pulling in up to 20 million views per month. This alone nets Doucette hundreds of thousands of dollars per year. But more importantly, this means millions of people enter the top of the sales funnel for all his additional services, including supplements, cookbooks, and training programs. What's wrong with me trying to make money on the years of hard work that I've done? It's fair to say Greg doesn't have an issue dropping guap on Lambos. Greg's success didn't come overnight. In fact, it was a long, hard grind with more than a decade of obscurity before he hit it big financially. Why did it take so long for him to become successful? Oh man, I can't wait. Born in 1975 in Nova Scotia, Canada, Greg started lifting as a teenager and fell in love with the iron. Greg went on to study both a bachelor's and master's in kinesiology before becoming a school teacher. In 2007, Greg started a YouTube channel where he would post as Greg Mutant Doucette. During this time, his content was a mix of both powerlifting and bodybuilding. Around 2010, Greg transitioned from natural to untested competitions. He said that he saw this as an obvious progression as he wanted to take his career further and there's no way that you could become an IFBB pro without dabbling in the sports dark arts. Greg won the 2011 WPC Powerlifting World Championship in the 90 kilogram class and went on to set several records including a Guinness World Record for the sumo deadlift. At the same time as winning powerlifting competitions, he was also advancing as a bodybuilder and at the Canadian Nationals in 2012, he won his IFBB Pro bodybuilding card. This should have marked his ascension to a new level of success. Becoming world class simultaneously in powerlifting and bodybuilding should be enough credentials for anyone in the fitness industry. But in reality, winning a pro card and powerlifting championships are false peaks. YouTube fitness is huge, but pro bodybuilding is a fringe niche. In 2012, he left the teaching profession and worked as a coach, but his YouTube channel failed to take off. He continued posting for several years, but the videos didn't bring in the views. His videos were completely different to how they are now. It wasn't until 2017 that Doucette really started to develop the Coach Greg persona that made him so successful. This topic is power bodybuilding. This is how I personally have been training for over 20 years. At this point, Greg is already 10 years into his YouTube career and his success is only now starting to come into view. The real turning point for Greg will come two years later in 2019 with his video, Coach Greg, Mark Wahlberg, All Natural, The Rock, Gyno Surgery, Hollywood and Steroids. Of course he's not natural. Are you kidding? Mark Wahlberg? Oh my goodness. So this video blew up and Doucette realized that he could get in on the huge interest in Nasty or Not videos. Greg definitely did not sleep on this opportunity. And from here on in, his channel would really take off. So, what did Greg do to become so successful on YouTube? The first was a monumental increase in volume. Greg worked up to a point where he was pumping out 10 videos a week. This meant outsourcing a lot of the work. He eventually took on a whole team who would handle everything from thumbnails to editing to research so that he could keep up the pace. But how could he find enough material for 10 videos a week? I really enjoyed the first two installments of Greg vs. Abby. I ain't done yet. There's so much more than scratch this. Well, technically I scratch the service, but there's so much more. Greg realized that drama videos are a never ending source of content. He makes a video about someone, they respond, he responds back again, and on and on. Not only does this give him content, but it also means that his name gets spread further and further through the fitness industry. Love him or hate him, people can't help but talk about Greg. Greg has also shifted his content away from pro bodybuilding 
to fitness influencers and celebrities. Normal people are not really interested in the Olympia, but they will click on a video about Will Tennyson or Larry Wheels. When it comes to Greg's on-camera persona, I say he's gone a lot further than just loosening up. His videos have now become performances where he dials everything up to 11 and puts on a show. I would argue that becoming a larger than life figure adds a lot of value for his viewers. Fans of Greg trust his credentials as a bodybuilder and strength athlete and they believe his advice and guidance. The reason why Greg sells a $200 cookbook is that his fans value his cookbook at $200. Greg really understands his viewers and he understands how to market and sell to them. People will also have a positive experience watching Greg's videos. If your goal is to get into shape, then there's a lot of free information in his videos. For most people, watching Greg's videos will help them and providing something valuable for free is a great way to encourage people to choose to spend money on your products and services. What do you think about Greg Doucette? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.